Throughout the winter, the landscape surrounding Mount Princeton Hot Springs Resort is a hub for a myriad of winter outdoor activities, most of which are available right outside your room or cabin door. Chalk Creek Canyon here is really a mecca for winter sports. Uh, you're able to snowshoe out of St. Elmo, cross-country ski. Uh, the snowmobiling is, is some of the best in the world. People come from literally every corner of the United States to bring their snowmobiles or to rent snowmobiles in this area. One of the areas that is, is a very family-friendly area is the Marshall Pass area headed up towards Monarch. Uh, very easy access, nice rolling terrain, nice open meadow at the top to, to snowmobile around, and then more immediate to the resort areas is really one of the crown jewels of snowmobiling in, in Colorado, and that's Cottonwood Pass. Uh, great parking at the trailhead, uh, unload your machine, and you're on limited amount of terrain there. You can go on for literally hundreds of miles. Uh, it really is amazing. Some of the best vistas uh, I've ever seen you know, in the high country. It really is truly an amazing experience. And then finally, you know, we have St. Elmo up the road, which is a, a nice quick trip on your snowmobile from the resort. Enjoying the snow and nothing better than being out on a snowmobile on a day like today. This is about as good as it gets. You won't find this in Austin, I can tell you that. We opened up in December of 1996. Um, we operate on Cottonwood Pass. We run snowmobile tours and snowmobile rentals. And we also run Marshall Pass out of the Salida area. Mount Princeton Hot Springs Resort, we do run a package deal where if you stay with them, we do offer them a, a special price for people that accommodate with them to come with us. And they can stay there multiple nights, they can do multiple rides with us and still get discounts every day that they come out. It's kind of nice because then you, you come riding, if you get a little sore, it's a beautiful resort. You go up there, you get to soak in their hot springs um, and get yourself, your muscles all relaxed and everything for the next day out on whatever you want to do. After a, a, you go up into the mountains and you do some of these activities, uh, you can come back down to the resort and with the new full service spa, we have quite a few activities on property now too, uh, ranging from the day spa that opened uh, in March of 2012. Uh, this spa is a full service spa offering everything from massage therapy uh, to even a juice bar. The spa at Mount Princeton Hot Springs Resort offers a variety of services and we're continuing to build upon that. 
Uh, the most popular service at this time would be the Mount Princeton Signature Treatment. You get a little bit of everything in it, so it's a great service. You get the basic concepts, a sugar scrub, and a full body massage. It's a 90 minute service, so you get maximum time spent in the facility. Um, and then, of course, you have access before and after your treatment to the facility if you'd like to take a soak before and then steam after. You, you have plenty of time to do all of that. In the wintertime, we use the relaxation pool um, for the water yoga program at Mount Princeton, and that's the warmer pool adjacent to the new spa. Because it's a little warmer temperature, of course, anybody can come to the class, and any person of any fitness level or any age will really reap the benefits of the class as well, the, my water yoga class. But we're dividing things up a little bit where we'll have a class just for the locals and then a class exclusive for the guest of Mount Princeton. In the summertime, we usually move the water yoga classes up to the upper pool, um, simply because it's a little bit cooler, and of course the scenery up there is just, you know, knock out with all the 14,000 foot peaks around you. Yoga is the ancient art of movement that's been around for you know, centuries and centuries. And what we've done is taken the traditional yoga poses, except for the inversions, um, because then you'd be underwater, upside down, into the water. I use the uh, wall in water yoga as you would the floor in um, traditional yoga. So the downward dog pose is done on the wall of the pool. And then we do all of our balancing poses, um, twist, um, I've developed several asanas we can do, which is a flow, a series of poses. Um, and it, again, it's a head-to-toe workout, I like to say, or a toe-to-head workout. But we don't, you don't even have to get your hair wet for the most part. But we do use some flotation devices to get you also, at the end of the class, into a maximum state of relaxation.